First at 10, one of the biggest events of the year in our region kicks off Saturday morning. It's estimated 180,000 people will pack Memorial Park for the Labor Day liftoff. Combine that with holiday weekend traffic. And if you're coming up from Pueblo for the event or you have friends and family coming in from Denver, you'll want to plan for extra time. 11 News reporter Jared Dean is in studio. Jared, it's too late to buy advanced parking passes for parking at Memorial Park. Yeah, that's right, Adam. And if you want to park in lots like this behind me, you want to park near the field, you have to pay on site. Organizers tell us they're going to be working hard to make sure that you don't sit in traffic. Hot air balloons are cool. A lot of people in southern Colorado feel the same. As Labor Day approaches, the annual tradition is about to lift off. This morning, organizers of the Labor Day liftoff held a preview event at Banning Lewis Ranch called Aloft. I do really wish I could get in one, but I'm not the best with heights. Starting Saturday, 77 balloons will take the skies at Memorial Park. Organizer Scott Appleman says this may be the largest liftoff and turnout yet. We're anticipating very large crowds. Uh, the response has been, I mean, I believe we've almost sold out of advanced parking, which is a first. And it isn't just the sights and sounds that make the event worth it. Appleman says the economic impact has nearly tripled in the last four years. And we had a really good year last year, and it was in excess of $20 million economic impact to the community of Colorado Springs. This year, the event will feature drone shows in both the morning and the evening at 5.45 a.m. and 9.30 p.m. It's like for us, it's a challenge. Okay, what are we going to do next or how are we going to make it better? Um, so we're always trying to think of that and trying to evolve the event. Now, organizers say that their best advice is to get there early and stay through the event if you want to avoid sitting in traffic.